Hello guys, welcome back to another video. This video is part of the Casper Christmas giveaway series where we'll be giving away Casper coin in each video. So this is about educating more people about Casper coin and also giving back to you guys. So the way that it works, there'll be 12 word seed phrase hidden in each video somewhere and you'll have to find each word and input it into a wallet. Then you can unlock the wallet and do whatever you want with the Casper coin. Each wallet was made through casperwallet.io and will be linked in the description. Each wallet is also password protected, but that will also be in the description as well. Make sure you like this video for more of this content and comment down below if you found the seed phrase and got into the wallet. So today I'm going to show you how to set up a Casper wallet in the quickest and easiest way possible that I've found at least. So this is going to be using kind of the same method that you would use to unlock the Casper wallet in the Christmas giveaway that we're doing. So first things you want to do is head over to casper.org and you can just scroll down all the way down here to get the latest wallet. So we have a bunch of options here that we've already covered in other videos. But today I think the easiest way is to go with the mobile and web wallet. It offers good security as long as you protect your browser and don't click on any dodgy links. You should be fine past that as long as you don't have a key logger installed that you don't know about. So maybe start this up on a fresh machine or you can even download it on the app store and it's the same process. I wouldn't recommend holding all your Casper coin in here, but this is easy for transacting and just onboarding people to Casper coin overall. So you click on the web wallet here and it's going to take you to wallet.caspernet.io and you want to click on new wallet. So now you want to type in a password. So we're just going to use the password for the giveaway here. So Casper123, remember capital K as well, 123, and then a speech mark and a dollar sign. So then you can click next. And here is your 12 word seed phrase. So I'm obviously not going to be using this wallet, but here's the 12 word seed phrase, as you can see here. So you want to note that down on a piece of paper. I wouldn't recommend you keeping it on anything but a piece of paper. Or maybe even if you have like one of those metal wallets where you can stamp in letters and words onto it, you could use that as well. And then the next step that you want to do is click next and then you have to go through the here. So make sure you wrote the phrase down correctly by answering this quick checkup. So what's the 11th word? I believe it was usual. Fifth word was wolf and the ninth word was chase. So says anyone with this 12 word phrase can access your wallet and your funds keep it safe. So next, and that's all you have to do to open up your wallet. So here you'll have your address, it'll show transactions by here, and you can also scan the QR code. To use this, you just click send, you put in your recipient address, so who you want to send it to, the amount of Casper coin. Normally you can just include the priority fee and you can add a note in there. Then you'll click send and you'll have to enter your password in. And that's pretty much the easiest way to set up a Casper coin wallet. Remember these receiving addresses will change over time, but you can use any one that pops up here. It will still be valid to send in. It's just the way that the Casper network works. Or you can also compound transactions, export them as well. So that's good for doing taxes, update the transaction times, back up the seed, recover from the seed, export the wallet or import the wallet there. It has information on the network there. So the DAA score, DAG header, DAG blocks, difficulty, median offset, median time, and then debug just shows UTXOs and forces it to update if it's not updating properly. If we back out of this, we can actually refresh the page. I believe it'll take us out. So here, if you wanna actually open up your wallet, let's say you're on a different machine, you can click new wallet and then click on I have a wallet and then input your 12 word seed phrase here to recover the wallet that you previously used. So now you've entered your 12 word seed phrase in here, you can actually go and recover your wallet if you click recover wallet here. And then if you just type your password in again, you can encrypt the wallet and it will open up the wallet there. So make sure you like the video and subscribe for more content like this.